Hey folks, today is November the 25th. It's currently 6.18 in the afternoon. We're going to look at doing our Copy Vic live update and review. This is going to be week number 22 of testing. If you guys recall, last week we earned, and I didn't put my title there. I have to go in and change that. But the week before that, we lost 47.52%. Actually, let me jump in and see. All right, so last week we earned 6.21% need to go in and update that all right the week before last week we made 6.74 and the week before that we made 3.56 percent i do plan on introducing uh some new stuff here very soon i know right now i just have Adjumat and copy vic but there should be some new stuff coming uh up in the new year here i'm just honestly having some issues actually finding what i would consider high tier quality uh products and i'll jump into more about that and some of the products I've been considering and what has happened recently with those products as we get closer to the end of the video. All right, let's go ahead, jump in and see how things went. And as we can see here, currently up 8.17%. Still on our way back up, climbing out of this hole. Quite a ways to go. And as we can see here, it looks like we did uh, have a, a dip down. Let's go ahead and see what happened. All right, so at present, well, I shouldn't even say at present. We actually made 1.48% this week, which equates to $15.91. Today alone, we made 2.17%. So that means some point in time earlier in the week, we did have uh, a loss. And it looks like that was on the 23rd. So that was on Wednesday that we took a hit. And we'll take a look at that once we jump into the VPS. As we can see here, still down 39.66%. Well, I shouldn't say still down. It was a little bit higher than that last month, but we're right around the 40% mark. So we definitely do have um, a ways to go here. And we do have some trades open going into the weekend. We'll take a look at that as well as we jump into the VPS. All right, now let's go ahead, take a look at the news for the week, and we'll jump into the VPS. Nothing on Monday, not much on Tuesday. On Wednesday, we have several uh, European news events here we got flash manufacturing services uh french out of france we got german flash manufacturing pmi um gbp flash manufacturing pmi core durable goods out of the u.s new home sales out of the u.s flash services pmi so yeah wednesday was quite a busy day when it comes to news all right thursday here as we can see bank holiday thanksgiving Happy Thanksgiving to those that uh, celebrate it. And Friday, nothing there. All right, let's jump into the VPS. And I'm going to try to move along uh, swiftly here so we can get everything covered. Hopefully, I won't hold you for more than 10 minutes. And as you can see, current balance is $1,088. Current drawdown is $66.18. First day of the week was the 21st. And like I said, the 23rd, we took some losses, so let's uh, scroll down here and take a look and see exactly what happened on the 21st. See who was the culprit. All right, so we started out pretty strong. Lots of small wins as always, a few small losers here and there. A nice healthy $20.46 win right there. And the 23rd should be coming up and we'll see exactly what happened. All right, so here we are on the 23rd, and as you can see, $15 loss, four, three, two, two, some smaller losses, 657. Okay, so we can basically see that on the 23rd, we had a string of losers on the started out NZD USD and also AUD NZD pairs. See if there were any other heavy hits on the 23rd. We had another one here, USD CAD, $11.92. $13.23 on the 23rd, another loss. All right, then we move on to the 24th and the 25th, and you can see we had a few winning trades that got us back to where we are right now. And I'm guessing there are some more nice size wins as we get closer to uh, today because $34 loss, $15 loss, there must be a nice size win down here coming up. All right, so I'm guessing just all the smaller wins we have, $15.72 win, 
must have uh, helped us get back up over the one percent mark there and what did we actually end up at 1.48 percent for the week and today alone we made 2.17 percent which is not bad at all especially when we uh, take into account those larger losses that we took today so definitely happy to see we were able to uh, pull out over two percent on a day where we actually had you know a 34 dollar and 80 cent loss Actually, this was yesterday. That was the 24th. Okay, so that was yesterday. And so today is when we had this $15.72 win that helped us out there. All right, let's go ahead and move on. As always, let's take a quick peek here at the copyvic.com website. And as you can see, copyvic.com, scroll to the bottom, set and forget. And as we can see, Vic did make a slight profit this week. Things are definitely pointing up, but we can see right there the 23rd and then the 24th. You can see the same dip right there before uh, regaining some of that we lost on uh, this day here. Definitely pull back up a little bit. So overall, 67.11% in the master account. And like I said, I wish this actually showed the uh, weekly percentages. That way we could kind of compare things. A little bit better but we do have the ability to see what other people did number one is obviously me let's check out number two here and see how they did this week all right so they earned 6.82 percent and things are going to be different because different people are using different uh, risk settings also different brokers 4.16 percent here as always trades open well not as always but this week trades open going into the weekend down overall about 25.92 percent let's check out number four here all right so number four seems to be gone so that'll probably be erased at some point here let's check out number five and number five earned 2.23 percent drawdown going into the weekend and as we can see here up 5.98 percent for the month of november so definitely got started around the right time or a beneficial time all right with that being said, let me pull up the last YouTube video, refresh the page. All right, did you get a chance to test out the Red Fox EA? Uh, I did. What did somebody say? Not good. Don't waste your time. Let's come back here. I'm pretty sure if you come to the website, Red Fox should be one of these. We just have to come through some of these and find it. There's Pro Max, MG Pro, Adjimat. Huh. Red Fox should have been. I'm pretty sure we tested that one. I remember Red something. Red Fox EA. Maybe I'm mistaken. I'll have to look into it. Maybe I didn't uh, test that one out. I can definitely uh, look into Red Fox. All right, let's check out what Trader88 had to say. Check out the other gold expert advisor, not Vix, that Larry was testing a few months ago. The big live account has lost all its profits and some more. Man, I think you're talking about this one, Promax Gold EA. And give me one second. Let me uh, let me find their website. All right, I just went to my EA Academy and it says it's currently unavailable. Try back later. That is definitely interesting. Huh. Hold on. I think they might have another website. Give me one second. I'll try to find it. All right, so here's the website, sinreadvice.net, and here is Promax Gold EA. And let's go ahead and scroll down here. Let's find the big account. All right, so here's one right here. Account one, preset a thousand, a thousand. Here's the hundred thousand dollar account. All right, so it looks like twenty eight point seven four percent loss this week. Wow. So the past three months, eighteen point one five percent, nineteen point five four, forty six point six three. So yeah, this one's been uh having a rough time of it. The month of November almost lost 50% of the account. 
down 16,424, negative 16,000 is the profit. Goodness gracious. So yeah, the uh, Promax Gold EA has definitely seen better days here. It's gone below their initial balance. Wow. Minus 23.37%. And let's get rid of that. It makes me curious to see if the others have likewise gone down. Let's check out this one right here. This one earned 0.16. And okay, so I'm just going to assume the other one likewise did okay. Hold on one second. Okay, I had to get back to their website. Here's the second one here. Let's see how they did. All right, so the second one looks like it stopped back in March of 2022. So definitely unfortunate to see that the Promax Gold EA, and again, these are, I'm assuming, the vendor's settings. Account was closed due to broker change and moved to a real account is shown above. That's the small. Okay, so this account was moved to this one right here. And this account right here is their hundred thousand dollar account let me see if this is a live account yes okay so that is definitely good information i had no idea that their accounts had uh taken that big of a hit all right i'm not sure why you're still progressing with this yes you can go up but two instances that show you will be lucky to not lose your account vix comment that only 19 people lost their accounts is 19 too many and if you add those that got wiped out on the first drop, it should be none if risk was being managed. Move on. Find something you would invest real money in. Uh, thank you for leaving the comment, but I'm actually investing real money in CopyVic. It's a $1,000 live account. Um, Trader88, I agree. On the top, it's fine to give advice, but don't attack the man's character just because he does something you don't like. He provides a great service for free to you. Fair call. That was not my intent. It's all good, brother. Just remember, there is a good, there is a guy on the other end that doesn't need to be doing this great content. All right, as always, thank you guys for leaving your uh, feelings and emotions. Obviously, I know we're going through a pretty tough time in the markets right now, and I have been looking at other expert advisors. I've been monitoring them, waiting to see, you know, which is going to be the next one to uh, be tested here. Unfortunately, as I've watched them time and time again, they end up blowing up. And but there are a few that I'm actually looking at testing that have not blown up, but I'm likewise having issues with and I'm just going to put it out there. I've been trying to wait before I had or until I had at least four potentially set up and, and ready to go. But we'll take a quick peek here. This is a pro trade club. And actually, you can't see it on their website. Let me just take a quick peek here. So what you're going to have to do, all right, we can scroll up, go to the pay to live channel. And as you can see here, their product is called Hedge Fund Trader. They have a four year track record. And you can see 2018, 19, 20, 21, 22. Most months, you're not going to get, you know, five, 10 percent um, winning months, but it has been consistent two, 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 one point nine five and so on. Pretty small losing months and the returns for the year, as you can see, 24%, 9%, 21, 21, 12.50%. So this looks like a kind of a slow and steady wins the race type uh, service. And one thing I like, there are particular months like 4.6% in January of 2022. And I also like the fact that there is an actual person that's managing the accounts only issue I have, let me see here. Here's the official results of over four years of trading. You're getting access for free as this is a PTC member in our community with an active intro pro, excuse me, access for free to this as a PTC member. All right, so you can join up as any of those and you'll keep all the profits. That means we don't have to do a profit share or anything like that. It's a free add-on for the service they provide. And let me scroll down to the question that I actually asked them. And I should also make note really quick, their update stopped in July. So I did ask about August, September, and October, and that's what I'm trying to get to here. So you guys can see why I haven't jumped in. Hi, I noticed the hedge fund trader. 
results pick you posted only goes up to July. Is it possible to see the results up to October? Thanks. All right, we'll be sending you all the link tomorrow. So my question basically got answered there or didn't get answered there. It got kind of ignored. And then here again, November 11th. Hey, Josh, can we get an update on the hedge fund trader? How did August, September and October go? Also, what is the drawdown on the account? Less than 4%. Again, very nice. Uh, very conservative, but did not answer the question of how did August, September and October go? And again, here we can see here. Thanks. Can we know the profit or loss numbers for August, September and October? So for me, when I have to kind of consistently ask the same question over and over and will post will be posted shortly and it never gets posted. And that's kind of a I don't want to say a red flag, but I definitely do want to see August, September and October, the results of those. But this is one that I'm considering and we can come over here. The pricing and the intro package is right here. 125 and then after that i believe it's either 97 per month or 125 per month if i was going to do it i'd do that intro package there and then just uh basically just get it for the hedge fund trader um another product that i was looking into let me pull this away was some of you guys might have heard of vision scalper this is one that i've been following for about six months and uh, it, it's been on my list for a while now. And like I said, I had a video that I was planning on putting out about four potential EAs that we were going to look at that you could earn some consistent monthly income with. And unfortunately, I checked their MyFX book account. One of them here, as you can see, this week has just been pretty hard on EAs. This week lost 102.26%. You can see that here. This is one account that I found and the vendors account which was right here i believe as you can see vision scalper this user has deleted the system so that is definitely unfortunate again this is the second one i was looking at potentially uh testing out for you guys and also for myself because i do definitely want to get a portfolio of expert advisors set up and we can take a look at one more that's been on my radar here all right, this one is through EA Economy. And the EA is actually called Athena, A-I-T-H-E-N-A, -E for those of you you want to look into it. If you're in the U.S., you can't actually, unfortunately, buy it. You have to use a VPS. Um, there are free VPSs out there. I think Opera Browser has a free VPS. And if you use that, you'll be able to actually see the service. But it is called Athena. As you can see here, and this is a recent MyFix book. And we can scroll down for the month of November. This person is up 1.62%. You can see September's results, October's results. Not bad at all. And we can come here. This is number two. Second account that I've been following. Refresh the page so you guys can see the most recent stuff here. Drawdown going into the weekend, but you can see this one has been going for quite a while. 5.77% for the month. And the last account that I was able to find. And you can see 0.03%. And this one's been running for about four months. One, two, three, four, six point two seven percent And again, drawdown going into the weekend. And this was a pretty large account. Real account. Deposit of $112,000. $10,000 in withdrawals. So these are just some of the... Uh, products that I've actually been looking at and there are a lot of other ones out there but I don't actually know anybody that's used them and has success with them you know these right here I you know in many cases joined their groups and talked to other people or seen other people that are posting results like these are results from people that are um, using the actual expert advisor and there's where is it at here let me see if I can find their telegram group And it should be in here somewhere. But anyway, they have a Telegram group as well for uh, U.S. citizens. Well, it's not through the vendor. Another issue I have with them is the brokers. One problem that I'm also noticing with a lot of these uh, different products is that the broker that the vendor is having a lot of success with does not accept U.S. citizens. And for example, with this one with the Athena EA, 
what they want you to use is a broker called Masari Capital. You can see here Masari Capital. Other people are using different brokers, but if you use different brokers, obviously you're going to get different results, which can be a good thing or a bad thing. And I haven't checked these. I'm not sure if Vantage accepts U.S. citizens or if Pacific Union does. But Masari is the one they recommend. And uh, if you click right here and you ask their um, chat support, they will tell you they do not accept United States citizens. So that's kind of another reason why I haven't jumped into uh, this one here. So I am keeping my eyes open. I'm trying to find a vendor that basically trades with a broker that United States citizens can also trade with because if they don't then that means I have to you know try a bunch of different brokers to try to see one that's going to give us results similar to what the vendor is getting and I would honestly just prefer to uh, you know find a product where the vendor is already using one that we could potentially join and just hopefully get the same results as the vendor and it is proving quite difficult anyway this video is definitely moving on but that is Three products I wanted to show you guys that I have been looking into, but for one reason or another, I haven't been able to move forward with it. And like I said, there are several other products that have come on the market, but a lot of them kind of look like repackaged products from stuff that's already come out. And I know for a fact that some of the services do repackage um, their products over and over again and just resell them under different names. And so that's one of the reasons why I haven't jumped into some of the new things that you guys might be seeing out there. So again, if you know of something that you didn't just see, one of the three that I just mentioned that you're personally using, that's performing well for you, that uh, uses a broker that U.S. citizens can, you know, actually join, let me know in the comment section, because that's kind of what's holding me back right now as far as jumping into something new. That's kind of the, the big thing, finding a system that's actually using a broker that I can actually join. All right, folks, I'm kind of rambling on at this point. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or if you know of a product I could potentially jump into, definitely let me know. Darren Ross, I hear you. You know what I mean? If you want to see something new, like I said, you know, let me know something that you've uh, used that's actually, you know, working well for you. And I can definitely give it a look. Most of the ones that I've heard from people. I look into them and I see they're using a broker that I can't use. And like I said, I know I'm going to have to go through a process of trying three, four, or however many brokers to try and find one that will give me consistently similar results to what the vendor is getting. Anyway, that's going to be it for now. Hope you guys have a great weekend and I will see you on the next update. Take care, folks.